So the way to set application preferences is to click on this gear icon at the top of the toolbar. That's going to reveal three different preferences that you can set. The first is how we handle files. Now I should mention that when you write metadata to an image file, what you're actually doing is you're recreating the file. Now, in theory, if something happens while we're writing that file, for example, if the drive gets dismounted or if the power goes out, that image file might be corrupted. This is very, very rare, but as a way to handle this as, as a precaution, what we can do is we can make a backup of the original file before we write the new metadata. The way this works is if you have this checked, then we will take the original file and copy it to your documents folder under the chroma tag folder, and then we will write the new metadata to the file. So that's basically an insurance policy. The second is how we handle file names. Now, a lot of the files that we download off of the internet have this kind of alphanumeric gibberish to them, and they don't have any relationship to the file. And so if you check use date format, then what we will do is when we write the metadata to the new file, we'll use a date format as the basis for the file name. So here's a good example of it. It will set the year, the month, and then the date, and then a serial number to keep the files unique, followed by the extension. So this is a good way to keep all of your image files basically having the same type of date format. Finally, this last setting allows you to filter out certain kinds of images that you don't want to appear in the gallery. So by default, Chroma Tag can write metadata to digital negative files, JPEGs, PNG files, and TIFFs. But let's say, for example, you've got a folder full of images and you don't want to see the PNG files. Well, you can check this off and we will filter those out and you won't see them in the gallery. Now, when you're done making your application settings, make sure to click on the Save button and those settings will be stored.